Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are an encounter of a lifetime. An encounter with the Holy Spirit. An encounter of a lifetime. Hallelujah. I want you to open your spirit. Benga said it here. Open your spirit as wide as possible. This for me is a very personal series. Very, very personal because this is the mystery behind the making of men i'm sharing with you the grandest of all mysteries the secret of all secrets the access of all access the door of every door this is the key if you get if you get this thing this night this is it believe me you can know every other principle if you get this key if you get this thing this night you will rise in a very strange way. Hallelujah. Adosh. Spirit of God, who is truly qualified to teach about you, who is truly, truly qualified to teach about you. Can any man really have the right to teach about him? based on what experience you can teach on financing because you have so much with respect to the richest man you can teach about academics with respect to a professor standard you can teach about family life with respect to a model family but what is the reference when you teach about the holy spirit what standard qualifies us to talk about him? This, this is not a, an issue of condemnation. 
this is an acknowledgement that we know so little so little so little the best of us the greatest of us is only a toddler in the matters of the spirit the highest of us i'm telling you this paul at the end of his life said that i may know him what what, what is the accolade is it because you heal the sick what now is the reference that you will use to teach about him the holy spirit the most misunderstood personality we're under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over us i am under the shadow Only your influence is all over me. I'm under the shadow. Your influence is all over me. is all over us we are under the shadow of your your presence is what has made our lives what it is their spirit of the living god tonight i will only attempt only attempt only attempt by your grace and mercy to help your people know you what pride to try to teach men about you who can who has the experience who has the experience who has the power and the wisdom by what standard but we beckon on your grace because we are partners on the strength of intimacy we pray oh god that the communication of our faith tonight will be effectual let it edify your body lord i pray that i will teach with accuracy let your people understand you for the kings to arise for the mantles to return for the boris to arise mordecai to arise hey, Ali 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 Hallelujah. Help us tonight, O oh God. In the name of Jesus. 
I just want you to sit down quietly and just carry something to write. Be very sensitive tonight. From my time of prayer, I knew that this series would be an extraordinary one. And the Spirit of the Lord told me that He wants this message to spread like fire to the body. There are not many messages where the Lord speaks to me about it. This message will create an effect in ministries, in lives. See, no matter what you think you know about the Holy Spirit, just drop it aside and listen. The maker of men. The maker of men. The maker of men. The Holy Spirit. Zechariah chapter 4 verse 6. Give us wisdom. The Holy Spirit part 1. Demons will cry out tonight. I tell you. I tell you. Yokes will be broken tonight. It's another miracle service. Just the teaching. You dare not call him. The Holy Spirit is not just a force as you will be learning. When you learn his presence, you will see how cheap Satan is. Presence. An unfakeable reality. You can't fake it. No mimicking. If it is not him, then it is not him. It's as simple as that. Zechariah chapter 4 we're going to read two scriptures tonight as we begin the Holy Spirit is the series we'll read it and then I'll give you the course content and then we'll start Zechariah chapter 4 and verse 6 inside outside online if you can follow one to read then he answered and spake unto me saying aha uh -huh, this is the word of the Lord to Zerubbabel saying not by might not by power but by my spirit so he shows you the key he's revealing something to Zerubbabel don't waste your time this thing is not by might it's not by power but it's by my spirit second scripture very quickly second Corinthians 13 verse 14 let's read it everyone it's projected one to read the grace of our lord jesus christ uh-huh and the communion of the holy ghost if you can have it in amplified that would be great the grace of our lord jesus christ just keep the scripture there the love of god and the communion it says the grace favor and spiritual blessing of the lord jesus christ and the love of god and the presence and fellowship listen the communion and sharing together and participation of the holy ghost these three mysteries should be with you the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god you have these two alone you will fail in life and the communion of the Holy Spirit so let's take down the course content tonight is part one we're going to consider the concept of the Trinity very quickly just some little theological housekeeping the concept of the Trinity and then the person of the holy spirit the next thing we're going to consider is the person of the holy spirit we're going to be examining who the holy spirit is then number three the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit the ministry of the holy spirit then number four the ministry of the spirit the ministry of the spirit it's not the same thing i said the third thing is the ministry of the holy spirit and then the fourth thing is the ministry of the spirit 
the bible says he has made us able ministers of the spirit the ministry of the spirit hallelujah wherever we stop tonight we'll stop and then we'll take now let's start with the concept of the trinity i want to give us some theological background so that we will really have that understanding look up please theologically speaking there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but you will not find direct reference to them in the bible there are certain words that are of common usage among the body of christ and um, i hope you know theologically speaking that christianity what we call the faith life was an extension it came as a branching out from judaism are we together judaism is a practice that is hinged in the revelation of the god of abraham isaac and jacob that's where the journey so the jews from where there is also a branching out of islam a branching out of judaism today and certain different branches you notice that most of these religions from the story of abraham they agree then as you branch different kinds of confusion and misunderstanding starts so there are certain words that we use in the body of christ but they are not directly referenced in scripture one of those words is the word rapture we use it to mean a system where believers are transited out of this realm you know there are references like that but you do not find a single word rapture in the bible there is no mention of the word rapture now when you study systematic theology it's a system where you are able to use scriptures and draw meanings it is the basis for establishing doctrines it is the basis for explaining scripture according to systematic theology scripture must explain scripture are we together now for any teaching to become a doctrine the theological condition is that number one that thought that line of thought must be referenced in the old testament that's the first condition condition number two jesus who is the bridge between the old and the new must communicate that thought too in his earth work and then number three it must be referenced in the life of the early church any thought that is referenced in the old testament testified by jesus himself and experienced by the early church um, fulfills the condition to be a doctrine so you you can use one scripture to buttress on a point but that scripture isolated in its own cannot form a doctrine are we together now yeah so there are many scriptures although the word rapture is not mentioned there are many scriptures from the old testament jesus himself testified of a possibility that a time will come when he can take people to where he is in john 14 remember I go to prepare a place when i prepare the place i will come and take you so that where i am there you may be also and then paul in his pauline epistles began to open to the church the possibility of a mass exodus that he was using that scripture to comfort bereaved people and he said that they should not weep like those who do not have hope for a time will come there will be a trumpet that will be blasted and they who are dead in christ will arise first is that true and we who are alive will be caught up that experience of being caught up is what was coined that we call rapture so you cannot say rapture is not a doctrine or it's not in the bible in fact it's one of the seven tenets what we call the tenets of the christian faith i will teach you in a separate series there are seven tenets like pillars of the christian faith if you are a christian there are seven major truths you must believe number one you must be don't write it i'm just giving you a teaser number one you must believe in the mystery of the incarnation god becoming a man the bible calls it the mystery of godliness you can't just believe in a savior just like that the first thing you must believe is that there is a supreme god in heaven 
are we together now and then you believe in the incarnation you believe in the virgin birth you must believe in the earth walk and the sinlessness of jesus you must believe in the fact that he died and died on the cross if you believe jesus died in a motor accident you are not a christian there he, he must that cross must be there are we together you must believe that when he died he didn't go to heaven he went to hell because that's where sinners go to really hades the place of departed spirits and gehenna the place of the dead there was a transaction that happened there you must believe he rose up after three days not one week you must believe that he appeared to many in the streets of jerusalem you must believe he ascended to heaven according to hebrews offered his blood upon the tabernacle of heaven then you must believe in his return if you do not believe these things you are not a christian it's as simple as that no matter your denomination this is the id card of christians these seven things another series will explain them another word i'm still giving an introduction to the concept of the trinity another word is trinity you never find the word trinity mentioned in scripture there is no reference theologically speaking from genesis to revelation where in these 66 books you hear the word trinity are we together now so i want to establish it because when we are talking about the holy spirit there are many denominations today sadly who do not believe he's a person who do not even believe in his existence there are many christian sects who have all kinds of debates and all of that so before i begin to talk about this most precious personality i must establish from the word of god is there such a doctrine as the doctrine of the trinity the triune nature of god three persons coexisting in one is it biblical and is it true so what is the proof of the triune nature of god the first evidence i'll give you a few scriptures and i want us to hurry up because you will need this to be the foundation of your confidence as we learn about god and then the holy spirit media you will help us we need a lot of speed genesis chapter 1 we'll look at verse 1 to 3 then we'll go to 26. the first reference of the possibility of the existence of god manifested as more than one person genesis chapter 1 it says in the beginning god now i want you to know that the old testament was written in hebrew a uh, part of latin was also added to it but largely hebrew and then the new testament was written largely in greek and aramaic are we together now so the expressions um when you read them from the greek context greek and um, hebrew sorry is a very rich communication it can break words one word can have several meanings based on whatever context this is what was referenced here english calls god god but in the hebrew it can tell you whether it is plural or singular so the bible says in the beginning god the word god then the hebrew is elohim and elohim is always in plural the singular is eloha one of the parties so we see here that the bible is referencing based on the hebrew manuals that this personality is not just an individual god created the heavens and the earth then verse 2 and the earth was formed was without form void and darkness was upon the face of the deep the hebrew rendition of darkness and voidness is tohu wa bohu it is darkness and confusion the same word that is referenced in isaiah chapter 60 arise shine for your light has come behold darkness and gross darkness the same word is used here i'm just giving you some theological foundation and then the bible says and the spirit of god now take note the first single personality of the trinity revealed from scripture is not the father not the word who we now call the son jesus yeshua but the spirit of god are we together now it says and the spirit of god moved round the face of the water so we see one manifestation of the trinity verse 3 and god said elohim 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 let there be really the the context here is actually eloha but i'm saying god at work elohim because he is speaking 
are we together it didn't just say God appeared are we together but God spoke the word so we see the word we see God we see the spirit are we together now then in verse 26 it says an Elohim the same word is used again said let us let us a classic confirmation it didn't say let me an Elohim a discussion in heaven going on let us now maybe I should tell you that the original names of God or the titles God was never called father the concept of God uh, being called father was a revelation that Jesus brought are we together now yes the word father means Abba comes from the Greek word it means your source and sustainer but father like a procreator a progenitor of a personality was never used in the Old Testament for God are we together they understood fatherhood but not referenced to God they knew him as the almighty God they encountered him but that knowledge as father his original name as revealed to the people was El Shaddai El Shaddai El Shaddai the deity that is limited the expression there is the multi-breasted one like a mother breastfeeds her child now he has such abundance of supply it's an attempt to explain his limitless dimension and then Jesus according to Revelations 19 his name was never known and called Jesus except even by prophecy it was Emmanuel are we together it was a name that was given by the angel to Mary that they would call him in his earth work his original name John 1 1 Revelations 19 was and will always be the word and then the Spirit of God now the Bible uses a very interesting word he never really began to express him as the Holy Spirit notice that he called him the Spirit of God um, are you following me when you call him Holy Spirit you are right but classically speaking you are wrong because God is a spirit and he is holy Jesus is a spirit although he ascended with a body he is holy are we together the Holy Spirit as a person is a spirit and he is holy you as a person you are a spirit and you are holy so if I call you Holy Spirit it's still not it's still theologically correct so we just call him Holy Spirit because of the unique reference to him but it is rather an attempt to describe him the name the standard name that the Bible calls him is the Spirit of God no man knows what is in the heart of a man save the Spirit of that man the Spirit of God I will use the word Holy Spirit for for us but I, I just I'm giving us a background so we see in Genesis 1 26 let us make the Trinity the next reference very quickly at the baptism of Jesus in Matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 Matthew chapter 3 from verse 14 to 17 please give it to us but John forbade him this is the baptism of Jesus look up everyone John is baptizing people now and then all of a sudden Jesus shows up behold the lamb that takes away the sins of the world Jesus is coming to be baptized and then John you know he said no 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 I also need this baptism and then why will you come to me 15 Jesus said suffer it to be so that scriptures will be all righteousness will be fulfilled and then he permitted him verse 16 and Jesus when he was baptized so we see Jesus God in the flesh the son of God by reason of their office the second person of the Trinity then the Bible says when he came out of the water lo the heavens were open and what do you see there the Spirit of God another personality Jesus is in the earth the heavens are open we see another personality descending in the similitude of a dove then the Bible says descending like a dove and lighting upon him 17 and a voice so we see Jesus on earth the Holy Spirit is coming upon him and a voice of another personality 
who is not the Holy Spirit and is not Jesus speaking this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased hear ye him and all of that so I'm showing you from scripture that the Trinity the concept of the Trinity is biblical two more proofs ready Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 this is Jesus now teaching the disciples himself Jesus himself is teaching the disciples Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 Matthew 28 Matthew 28 from verse 18 to 20 and Jesus came and spake unto them saying everybody listen all power the word there is exousia is given unto me in heaven and in earth 19 go ye therefore this is jesus teaching and teach all nations baptizing them in the name of the father in the name of and in the name of the holy ghost jesus himself acknowledged the fact that they were a triune reality in the in the realm of the spirit the godhead expressed in three personalities ready for one last proof Acts chapter 7 verse 54 to 59 Acts chapter 7 this was when Stephen was about to be martyred the Bible says something happened when they heard these things that Stephen now the martyr the first recorded martyr when Stephen was teaching them on these things the Bible says they were caught to the heart and they gnashed on him with their teeth 55 we're reading to 59 but he being what so we see the Holy Ghost in Stephen, full of the Holy Ghost, one of the personality of the Trinity. He said he looked up to heaven and what did he see? The glory of God, the similitude of the face of God, another personality. And what did he see again? Jesus standing at what? So full of the Holy Ghost here on earth, God in heaven and then the holy ghost at his right hand read on and he said behold i see the heavens open and the son of man standing on the right hand of god you can even stop there the point has been established so you see that from scripture old testament the gospels and the epistles i reveal to you that there is such a concept i know why i am for some of you this looks basic but many people who represent different sects some not even believers are going to be listening to this message and it's important that we start from a theological foundation so that it does not look like this is a Pentecostal or charismatic phenomenon the concept of the Trinity is established by the Word of God there is such a concept now let me tell you a few things and I am very emotional as I say this the subject of the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit in my opinion is the most misunderstood and most neglected teaching in the body of Christ the subject of the revelation of the personality of the Holy Spirit I don't think that there is scarceness with the teaching of Jesus as the Son of God I don't think there is scarceness of the revelation of the Father especially New Testament believers we talk a lot about the fatherhood of God but the person and the ministry of the Holy Spirit most believers have almost no idea about the person of the Holy Spirit now the church especially the 21st century church is not in ignorance as to the reality of the power of the Holy Spirit we watch televisions every day and we see people falling from church to church you come for koinonia and you see people shouting and flying all around but the person this entity this personality called the Holy Spirit is what I want to introduce to us tonight Who is the Holy Spirit? Who exactly is the Holy Spirit? We must know who he is. Why is he so important that Jesus had to need him? Jesus walked upon the earth, never was able to do any serious kingdom thing until he came. 
who is this personality so important that the saints of old although they did not really know him but they could not resist his influence in their lives when he came upon them they could not articulate they never had a relationship with the holy spirit they could not know who he was they only related to him based on his influence upon them there were only two people in the old testament who communicated such an appreciable dimension of intimacy with him number one was samuel the prophet number two was david the man after god's heart these two personalities seem to have accessed deeper dimensions of their work with the holy spirit a prophet that the bible says his word did not fall to the ground it was the psalmist that said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your spirit from me who is the holy spirit now let me tell you something the holy spirit is not a bird the holy spirit is not a dove you have to believe this the holy spirit is not candles with fire on it the holy spirit is not anointing oil the holy spirit is not water the holy spirit is not wind the holy spirit is not sound all those things are similitudes of his operation similitudes of his operation but not him the holy spirit is not an influence he's bigger than an influence who is the holy spirit number one the holy spirit is god the holy spirit is god he is not like god he is not a friend of god he is not a mentee of god the holy spirit is god every description that you give the father every description in terms of honor and acknowledgement and power and might it suffices to communicate the same description to the holy spirit now the difference of the trinity is not the power and the might but the system of their functions and their offices it is based on that that we now classify the father as number one the son jesus as number two are we together and the holy spirit as number three the holy spirit is not junior god the holy spirit is not the inferior part of god he is god in every way in every system deserving of worship deserving of honor deserving of trust so the holy spirit is god number two the holy spirit represents the unlimited presence of jesus benihin calls him jesus unlimited the holy spirit represents the unlimited presence of jesus when jesus walked upon the earth he was bound with a body listen give us quickly please john john chapter john chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 john chapter 14 verse 16 to 18 the holy spirit a manifestation of the limitless presence of jesus so it is it is fair and scriptural to say the holy spirit is jesus unlimited without bounds when jesus walked upon the earth he could not be everywhere at the same time it is the holy spirit that makes it possible for every believer to receive christ he is the representation of the presence of jesus on earth and in the heart and life of every believer and i will pray the father this is jesus speaking and he will give you another comforter you've heard the word the greek rendition is alos parakletos alos and heteros these are words that mean one of the same kind or one of another kind when you say alos it means the same in quality and species like the cat family are we together the bird family when you say heteros it can mean many birds but not of the same maybe a dove and an eagle they are not the same so we have alos and we have heteros here it is alos paracletos another comforter that he may abide with you forever next verse 
next verse verse 17 even the spirit of truth whom the world listen jesus is saying the world cannot receive him why he says because it seeth him not so the first reason why the carnal man cannot walk with the holy spirit is why because he seeth him not now facebook and the social media has taught us that there is a possibility to relate with a personality you have never seen before facebook came they taught us something i think in secondary school or primary i don't know which one pen pal something that you write letter and post to another stranger who replies you but now with facebook you can communicate with a personality you do not even know and from his expression you can even know he's not happy yet you have never met him the person is in brazil you are in nigeria and you are communicating praying together growing together and you can even say how are you my good friend the world does not see him neither knoweth him an encounter not awareness the world cannot have an encounter with him because he is not the way you encounter physical men this is a spiritual encounter the two reasons why people cannot experience the person of the holy spirit don't forget this number one because they cannot see him except it is given to you by the grace of god you cannot see the person of the holy spirit with your optical eyes you can see the expressions of him you can feel the power of his presence you can see the influence the wind is in the similitude of the holy spirit you may not see the wind but you can see the paper it carries you can see the clothes it dries that's how the holy spirit is so you cannot you believe there is wind because you see it drying your clothes picking papers and occasionally dust can form a tornado and this is the effect of the wind but the wind is not a tornado the holy spirit represents the unlimited presence of jesus in the earth number three who is the holy spirit the holy spirit is the wisdom of god the holy spirit is not wise the holy spirit is the wisdom of god look at me of the trinity the holy spirit represents the wisdom of god you have to understand this the wisdom of God that's why Jesus had to wait for him to come so that he will walk in wisdom the Holy Spirit is the wisdom of God number what number four the Holy Spirit is the revealer of the presence and the power of God not just the conveyor but the revealer only the holy spirit can make the presence of god and the power of god real to men listen without the holy spirit no matter what miracle you see it cannot change you i hope you know in the old testament they saw miracles yet they were not converted in the new testament they saw five thousand people fed by five loaves and two fish correct they saw the water turn into wine they saw jesus walking yet they still doubted him john the baptist himself who commissioned jesus in ministry doubted whether or not he was the messiah jesus resurrected and when he resurrected the bible says he went to his disciples he said but some doubted why because they had not received the holy spirit only the holy spirit can reveal the presence and the power of God to men see let me tell you something that's why there are people who can carry anointing they can sit in a meeting you can be dispensing the gifts of the spirit accurate prophecy you can see someone fall under the anointing and roll and get up and at the end of that meeting someone can be nodding and say bros are you there now I see we didn't attend the meeting powerful meeting with signs and wonders but without the presence of the holy spirit there is no conviction there is no change there is no transformation jesus sent the 70 are we together now jesus sent the 70 thomas was part of the 12 and the 70 thomas used the name of jesus casted devils but when jesus resurrected he said no way 
until he comes and I put my hand in his hand and then Jesus came he said Thomas do it he said blessed is he that has not seen blessed is he that has not seen but believe the conveyor the revealer of the presence of God who is the Holy Spirit let me give you a shocking definition number five the Holy Spirit is the author of Scripture the Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible the same way Benihin is the author of good morning Holy Spirit the same way Bishop Oyedeko is the author of covenant wealth or a covenant of prosperity the Holy Spirit this book belongs to him it was not authored by Zondervan it was not authored by um, um, white taker house this Bible scripture was authored by the Holy Spirit you are a hypocrite if you try to read his book and ignore him the author of the Bible is the Holy Ghost two scriptures second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 and then second Timothy chapter 3 verse 16 second Peter chapter 1 verse 21 for the prophecy listen came not in old time by the will of man Luke did not write the Bible because he was intelligent listen John did not write the Bible just because he leaned on the chest of Jesus Isaiah did not write the Bible just because he had to write he said the will of man was too small to have written this Bible look up there is no man that wrote the Bible just by their will no it takes more than willingness to write this there must be a personality and an influence a compelling force 90% of the people who were used by the spirit to write the Bible were not educated they were illiterate so how was the details of the character of God so captured with minimal error in spite of their personalities some of them never met themselves but see the synergy and the consistency of their communication no prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were what influenced the same word the Holy Ghost drove Jesus to the wilderness so men wrote they spake and later documented it as moved by the Holy Ghost listen to me carefully I, I may want to write one book now maybe translate some of my messages into books and I can tell the media department or we get a professional editor and say take one two three messages I need the transcripts of all of them and I sit down and edit it does it mean that is that person that wrote the book please respect him he is the author of this book men of God hold this book and they never know the author they preach it they write other books with reference to this and never give honor to the author they give honor to their wives thank you for motivating me on the computer while I type they give honor to their children thank you son for not being stubborn while I wrote the book and they ignore the owner listen there is something called plagiarism plagiarism is an offense correct when you take somebody's thoughts without due permission and without making reference how many people have plagiarized the Spirit of God we use his words every time and every day and nobody has been arrested and we never give him credit if David Dam catches somebody recording his song and making money from it they will first share it into half and then take him to court and say no way it came from God but through me you are not going to just read from are you getting if somebody carries the koinonia worship team song and just runs with it like that they'll sue the person to court yet 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 we take everything that is of the holy spirit he gave us unrestrained access to use it as though we wrote the book look at how i quote scriptures as if i was there i can quote it 
then I will be stupid to not acknowledge him. The Holy Spirit is the author of the Bible. 2 Timothy 3.16 2 Timothy 3.16 I want you to read one to read all scripture is given by what is the word breath is the word numa the greek is ruach an expression a manifestation of this of the holy spirit all scripture how many all scripture all scripture not some not a major part all scripture is given by the inspiration of god and is profitable for doctrine reproof correction instruction in righteousness that the man of God may be perfect and all of that. So the Holy Spirit is the author of the word. Write this down. Christianity is not a religion. Christianity is not one of the 4,000 religions on earth. That's quite an information you want to know. I don't know what's the current. Maybe somebody has invented something from January till now. Now that recession is on, somebody must have come up with something. But the last time I checked, there were at least 4,000 religions on earth. Isn't it amazing? 4,000 plus. With followers, all with followers. You can go and register it officially, your religion. State your tenets of faith. Prove that it works. They give you a patent to, to smuggle people from whatever religion into yours. Christianity is not a religion has never been and will never be religion is man's attempt to manage his confusion about god religion is man's attempt to find god without the agency of the holy spirit religion is man's attempt to create an explanation of the realm of the spirit and the dealings of god without the assistance Religion is the product of man's pride. Religion is a direct product of man's pride. His refusal to accept that there is God, but accepts that the realm of the spirit is real. So people argue, oh, the sun is there, the planets are moving around it, and there are millions of galaxies and all of that and all of that and this one if the sun is too if the earth is too close to the sun if it's too far and then out of all of that the scientists who have succeeded in doing that tells you there is no god and the bible gives that person a name it's called a fool he said only a fool will say in his heart but these ones did not even say it in their heart they've written it in letters they have blogs for it only a fool will say in his heart there is no God look at me if all of a sudden you enter this place and you see this fan and this keyboard and this mic and I told you that some metals were just moving around and then a wind blew them and there was some electromagnetic force and it just came together and formed a mic and reduced down to Tosin's height and then another one became a pulpit how intelligent do I sound so to tell me that some cosmic bodies flew from mars and other planets had a big bang boom then the water molecules suddenly had uh what they call that thing frogs that thing that toads carry like fins and then started growing out leg and then became one ugly thing and then eventually grew and then became something else and then became black and ugly monkeys and then from there my great grandfather was coming out I, and then look at how dull those things are but we believe them oh oh oh, oh. Oh, 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 Christianity is an experience. Christianity is a revelation. It's not a religion. What we call Christianity, the faith life, 
the work of a believer what was committed to us by jesus is a revelation it's an experience it's an experience it was the holy spirit who birthed the church the holy spirit birthed the church not only did the holy spirit father jesus the holy spirit birthed the church jesus was not ashamed to call the holy spirit his father he said my father in me there is my father who is in heaven but there is my father who is in me abba my source my sustainer so it was the holy spirit who birthed the church listen we talk a lot about christianity many zealous people have died in villages many people have been martyred but we have ignored the spirit of god why we have ignored him is a mystery he started the church he started the church and today we drive him out of our churches we drive him out of our cathedrals we call him a nuisance we say he is too noisy we have sent him out of our families we have sent him out of our businesses we have sent him out of our lives we have sent him out of our ministries we have sent him out of our homes we sent him out of our children we sent him out of civilization we sent him out of government we sent him out of our finances the spirit of god second corinthians 13 verse 14 my assignment tonight is to bring him to your consciousness that he is a person write this down the holy spirit has a definite form he's not an amoeba he's not like a boneless creature no the holy spirit has an exact distinct form the reason why he does not reveal his form ordinarily to people is because he wants jesus to be glorified not because he does not have a form are we are we together now you have to get this when you are in the realm of the spirit you can see the person of the holy spirit now it's very difficult for you to understand this because pastor femi come if this is joshua selman I, you cannot believe that i am in pastor femi's house or i am in his heart that possibility cannot be understood in a three-dimensional realm the concept of omnipresence is not a reality that our civilization is used to there is no that that ability to be omnipresent is not there that's why the internet was allowed by god to show us that omnipresence is a possibility i can be in my room right now scattered across over 45 nations of the world there are different people connecting right now and they are hearing at the same time some with phones some with laptops some seated right now as soon as this series is over we will upload it and in minutes literally minutes people all over the world are downloading it omnipresence is a reality the internet has shown us that it is possible there is a station where facebook is zuckerberg is a person but he has multiplied himself through a mystery are we together so they say are you on facebook is the same way saying have you given your life to christ but there is a personality called zuckerberg there is facebook office but there is facebook in your house there is facebook in your phone and whoever does not have facebook is not part of zuckerberg are you seeing that now so how will you say it is not possible for the holy spirit to be living in you and to work with you you can have facebook in your phone but you can meet with the person zuckerberg and be in the real facebook office there is a real form there is an office today you can snap called facebook but there is a similitude of it zuckerberg is in everybody's phone whenever you say zuckerberg the phone facebook is the representation of the presence of zuckerberg so when you gave your life to christ yes you were born again but jesus is in your heart it is true 
but in your heart in the person of the holy spirit the person jesus is in heaven seated today with a solid body he will return with it so when you say i belong to jesus it is true but the seal is the holy spirit he's the one who validates that your claims are true more on that next week when i'm, I'm teaching you on the ministry of the holy spirit the holy spirit what do i want to get today to teach you second corinthians chapter 13 verse 14 i want us to dwell in the understanding of the person thank you thank you pastor of the holy spirit let me talk about these three things the grace of our lord jesus christ it says and the love of god he says and the communion koinonia fellowship intercourse sharing together participation of the holy spirit he said these three things should be with you number one the love of god the love of god is an expression of the benevolent nature of god is an expression of his generosity his his fortitude to express his nature in and to and through men the love of god paul is saying if you want to walk and do business in this kingdom the love of god must be at work in you the love of god is revealed in the person of jesus christ and also revealed in the substitutionary sacrifice of jesus jesus did not come to the earth just as a suggestion of himself he came in response to the father's love he came to prove the love of the father that's the first thing paul says we should know the love of god i'm not dwelling so much there the second thing he says we should know is the grace of our lord jesus christ what is the grace of our lord jesus christ it's not just unmerited access we're not doing a whole teaching on grace but grace is not look, look at me grace is not unmerited access alone that is just a dimension of grace grace is a generic terminology that is used to express any and everything that comes from god any and everything that comes from god is called grace are you seeing now it's not just salvation anointing is grace wisdom is grace my definition of grace is given in the bible every good and perfect gift that comes from above is called grace it's not just unmerited access unmerited access is a dimension of the operation of grace If all you know about grace is just unmerited access, no. The power to perform is grace. Because it is not your own. You are giving it. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. Then he says the communion. Please give us amplified. Let me dwell here and then we'll pray. The communion. I'll be teaching you the next time we meet on the ministry of the Holy Spirit. But the starting point of the journey of your walk with God, the first thing he wants to achieve in your life when the Holy Spirit comes to you is fellowship. Partnership is a product of fellowship. 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 There are so many people who want partnership. But they do not want fellowship partnership means to work with him that's that's the section four or so of our course content the ministry of the spirit that's where i will teach you signs and wonders miracles raising the dead healing the sick increase multiplication signs and wonders that's the ministry of the spirit that is partnership with him but the starting point of a believer unfortunately most of our prayers are largely prayers directed towards our needs towards warfare which is important but very little of it is a system built for fellowship fellowship and the fellowship of the holy ghost the personality of the holy ghost not just his ministry not just his power the holy spirit is a real person real person real person he walks with you 
he lives in you he represents the presence of the holy spirit in your life the presence of god in your life but he walks with you when the holy spirit comes into your life come darling when the holy spirit comes into your life listen the first thing he wants to achieve is not to use you for signs and wonders that's what you want so you want a sharp sharp impartation let me just fall down roll around roll around stand up and all of a sudden i look around and i say look better invite me because i have power many people know his power but they do not know his person are we together imagine a woman who has been eating her husband's money and never knows him what is his name i don't know what is his best meal i don't know what are his best colors i don't know where is he now i me too i don't know he just left home and uh, whenever he comes he knows ah, but you are rich it's his money you have his wife you must be an irresponsible wife correct yeah the holy spirit there are so many things we don't know about him and we don't care the average pastor talks about him but does not know him our lives are very it's a demonstration that we are very ignorant of him we do not see the ultimate ministry of the Holy Spirit in your life listen is not to speak to you is that you and him will be so intertwined that you become an expression of his reality the same way he's an expression of the reality of heaven he is the one who makes thy kingdom come possible in your life so when people see you you are so bound to him you look like him you talk like him you walk like him your life is an effulgence of his presence I introduce to you tonight the person of the Holy Spirit he does not belong to Pentecostals listen carefully he does not belong to people in Lagos he does not belong to Western elites he does not belong to those who can speak English and can read King James. How many people go to the villages and do evangelism and dare talk to them about the Holy Spirit? When you come and people are well dressed in suits like me, say now these guys are candidates for the Holy Spirit. But you see one mama in the village who cannot speak English, I don't mind these people. You see that? Many of us are here seated right now. Nobody ever introduced him to you they told you about jesus you cried and every time you pray jesus can you hear me and he looks in heaven and says i love you and i can hear you but you are not sincere i sent somebody to you you ignored the person i sent and you claim to love me no no we have ignored him and he has watched us like a gentleman in our pride and confusion we have done everything we have done we have been taught that the moment you receive him you must be a Jim christian a fiery brother or a lady that is going to marry a man of god and you say me I, I, god has never spoken to me about ministry i'm a quiet businesswoman holy spirit you can just go and remain in koinonia your team and they really need you there you see that attitude how many worshipers sing about him they write songs about him we twist our tongues on stage about him <laughs> god god this and that we don't know him we don't know him it's one thing listen it's one thing for god to be with you but it's another thing to be with god god can be with you as a person but that you be with him that means you have released your will to say yes lord The Holy Spirit wants to reveal himself the church of the Lord Jesus Christ does not know him I'm calling us way beyond the realm of power this is way beyond the realm of miracles let me tell you something pastors leaders much more than miracles let the miracles be a derivative of his presence if they have they can happen in the absence of his presence because you can have the anointing the same way you can use my ATM and withdraw money. The ATM will not refuse because my identity is on it. The disciples did not know the Holy Spirit, yet they went and they were raising wheelchairs, casting out devils. Let me tell you that you cast out demons. Please listen carefully. That you cast out demons and heal the sick is not a sign that you know him. No. 
no no for even the demons believe in God they tremble so many people in the body of Christ the moment you see a man of God walking miracles and I'm not against it moving you know somebody rising from the wheelchair you just assume that Kai, this guy knows the Holy Spirit no. no many people know him as an influence they know his power they know what his power can do but they don't know him because when you know him he alters you in a very remarkable way the proof that you know the Holy Spirit is that you submit your will for his characteristics to begin to find expression in and through you. You see that? Yeah. When a demon, you've seen people now, you've seen people manifest time and again under the influence of spirit here and in different meetings. Notice, you can, for instance, you can see this lovely lady right now and assuming there is a spirit attempting to influence her, the moment you attempt to cast out that devil, she can start crawling on her knees. This is not something that she should do as a human being, but the spirit is trying to execute his characteristics. So when the person of the Holy Spirit is at work in your life, your life becomes an effulgence of his characteristics. You don't just say, um, we are angry people in our family that's how we are I'm anointed but we are angry if it lands on me I give it to you even God you know beat me I beat you God no go those, those stupid statements that people make they don't know him I have seen many anointed people who do not know him personally I sincerely consider myself not even to know him I know that many people say ah koinonia the whole name the minister of the Holy Spirit my prayer every time is holy spirit reveal yourself to me while i was preparing for this series i was almost ashamed of myself i said truly 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 what am i now going to say about him that's why many people describe him because knowing him is not something it's like trying to teach you about your wife Jimmy. it's difficult i can only describe her she makes cake because i have a product in my house but is she cake she has lovely sisters and brothers. Wonderful. We can only use descriptions. But do you know the best way to let men know him? Become an expression of him. An expression of him. When your life vetoes culture, all those, listen carefully, all those embargoes that make you look like a Yoruba man, all those embargoes that make you look like a Kogi man, all those irresponsibilities that make you look like a plateau man, a Kaduna man, when they are swallowed up by that relationship, they know that somebody else has oriented your life. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Very important. You can be born again, casting out devils, but everybody looks at you. They can trace you so naturally. They say, ah, this guy's jealousy is from this state. They are like that. They are, oh no, forget that he's anointed. They are like that. But when they can hardly describe your earthly identity, you have switched to a true relationship with a personality that you are so intertwined with him that people can look at you and guess and say, where are you? I don't know whether you are from Rivers or you are from Plateau State or Delta. And you tell them, I'm from Zion. The Zion of God, truly speaking. The same way when you see a jam bite in a university, even if he's 40 years, you will know he's a new student. He's an adult outside, but when he enters that institution, he will try to be matured. But you look at him, you know that, no, this guy is not used to this. Are we together? The lingua franca, the way of talking, the way people are doing, there is a popular pothole that everybody in that knows if you, you can with your eyes closed you can jump in then he falls into it that's a jam bite he's not drunk he's just new these are realities with the holy spirit when i look at your life and the characteristics of the spirit are not manifesting there i know something is wrong anger bitterness we think these things don't matter the person of the holy spirit was designed to remedy this lapse so on a good day, 
based on my culture, based on my village, based on where I come from. I cannot stand and look at it. She should kneel down and lie down self because I mean I'm a man, I'm a king. He comes into your life and introduces who God is to you. He shows you who God is and says, in the kingdom that you so love and respect, Jesus that you so admire, this is not how he is. And he, not tell, he doesn't tell you what to do. He influences you to become it. The power to become. Not the information alone to become. The power to become. Can anything good come out of Nazareth? You are talking to a man who has met the Holy Spirit. Without him, nothing good can come out of Nazareth. But with him. With him. With him. With him. The person of the Holy Spirit is the mystery, the mystery that turned a stammerer like Benny Hinn to become a world-renowned figure. There are many people, I have gone for meetings and I've seen signs and wonders but never felt his presence. He was almost absent in that meeting. Signs and wonders can be happening but he's not producing conviction. People are just clapping but nobody is living with any sense of conviction because he's not there when you enter Benny his meeting whether you are dead or alive you know that the spirit of god is there signs and wonders are just a confirmation but you know let me tell you how you know a man of the secret place it's not miracles presence 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 not just when you are playing keyboard presence there is a presence if this lady sprays perfume very nice quality perfume and i hold her like this after a while is it true that i should begin to smell that perfume when you walk in a restaurant at the back of the restaurant where they cook and the firewood is there and you claim you were there for two hours cooking rice and you leave you should not smell fresh that place should implicate you no matter how neat you are i should see palm oil somewhere in your cloth or sweat you should smell like that rice or smell like smoke or smell like the kitchen you can't come out and you are still looking like this and say i was cooking rice not gas stove no it's a sign you were not there how many people claim they know him and they think because somebody flew under the anointing is just a sign no sir no sir listen i tell you the secret of koinonia is not just miracles there are ministries that work in 10 times more miracles 10 times the miracle that this ministry has worked in put together if benny Hinn should show up here they will all happen in one night but brothers and sisters the difference that presence that's what creates conviction so you can listen to a message you already know everything about it yet it will pound you and change you and you find yourself on your knees that's something that even when your parents say you should do it you didn't do it presence you know him when you can prove that you carry his presence you know him when you can prove the reality the reality you know a lot of people see me and they say apostle joshua selman has a call you know revival helping people experience god it's not really a call that's not yes i have a dimension of a call to reveal the person of the holy spirit but it's even if i'm talking about finances or i'm talking about whatever that presence that presence that presence just like some of you are listening to me now there's someone seated outside the wind may not be as favorable as you want yet something is happening to him that's what can make somebody who is a non-christian sit down outside and you are talking about what is not directly salvation but a presence lands on his head you see him shaking and just sitting it's not every shaking that is just anointing that carried people is the effect of his presence his presence his presence i'd like you to close your eyes and pray one minute and say lord not just your power a revelation of your presence pray pray the presence
presence in my life not just power for miracles you are in fellowship the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God he says listen and the koinonia the fellowship that the Holy Spirit is not an archangel please the Holy Spirit is not an archangel the Holy Spirit is not the firstborn of the angels no he is called the angel of the Lord's presence but the word angel there means the messenger of the Lord's presence the conveyor not the slave of God no 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 the Holy Spirit we have ignored him so much spirit breaker break our walls down spirit break out heaven come down walls of unbelief and doubt and fear break our walls down spirit break out heaven come down you were brooding over every darkness you are causing light to shine from darkness. He's brooding over every darkness. He is causing light to shine from darkness. You are brooding over every darkness. You are causing light to shine from darkness. That's what he's doing in your life. He's brooding over every darkness. My God is causing light. You are brooding over. Shine from prophesy one more time. Lord, you are proving over every night. You are causing light. Light. Listen. The Holy Spirit is the one who taught me the word. I remember, let me tell you next the next time we meet i will share with you a lot of stories about my work with the holy spirit how the holy ghost started with me the spirit of god is not power many people want power they want somebody to rise from wheelchair because you think that's what will bring members have you not seen signs and wonders producers no his presence his presence is a product of a real relationship do you know him do you know him do you talk to him do you respect him is your life an effulgence of his characteristics show me how he dis he took that anger out of your life show me how he's taken your tribe and culture out of your life you are proof every darkness lights to shine you are brooding every darkness you are causing light to shine one more time you are brooding you are brooding Listen. 
I've shared a bit of my experiences with you people when I would be in the room lying down and I would see a mist like fog what you call fog a mist the shape of a man standing there a real mist next the next time we meet I'll share with you all these encounters a real mist and brothers and sisters I will be frozen not just under his power his influence every part of me is shaking like a leaf for hours I don't know what it, it's like things are entering me and leaving me I cannot even explain is it that he's speaking to me is it impartation is it deliverance I don't even know all I know is that like a hand upon me and I tell you I remain like that for hours sometimes I will not even say one word one word it's not all this fake trying to pray and check time and say it's two hours let me steal so that no 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 his presence defines your longevity his presence defines how you pray his presence defines what happens you don't tell him uh -uh. his presence till today that is a practice I will never trade for anything no matter who I become or what I become listen let me tell you something the moment the moment you say oh god give me tea i bind every devil you're not going to experience his presence but calm down and set the atmosphere spirit of the living god you are welcome here i give you my life take my body my soul my spirit breathe on me Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. This is you praying now. Not give me tea and bread. Take my body, my soul, my spirit, breathe on me. Breathe on me. Take my body, my soul, my spirit. Affect my life, breathe on me. As I look to you for life. Affect my life, breathe on me. I look to you for life. You are the Holy Ghost. Let me show you what I do in my secret place. Holy Ghost, you are the Holy Ghost. Hey. The Holy Ghost, take your place. Hey. Take your place. was primarily designed as a spiritual system to know him to meet with him prayer was designed primarily as the system that conveys his presence to you there is the warfare dimension of prayer there is intercession there is supplication there is the prayer but he said when you pray pray in this manner Abba Father, listen, who art in heaven, not give me tea, give me bread, I must marry, I need a child. He said, your kingdom, your influence, your person come. Let me tell you why many people's prayer lives are dead. It's not because they cannot pray in tongues. I know many people's prayer life, my prayer life is one of the richest points of my Christian life. My, my prayer, I pray that one day during a vigil here, after we do anything, we, we will pray. I want to show you what I do in the secret place. My prayer life is not a boring time. You know why? Because I don't carry all these things that people, I don't enter his presence just disturbing him and talking stupid things. Let me tell you, there is a strategy that the devil uses for your prayer life. The moment you want to pray, he tries to make you weak. You will even think you don't have the strength for five minutes time of prayer. And then this is what many of us do. You just stand up. Oh God, I've been telling you about this thing. Oh God, my job is coming tomorrow. No, you don't need his presence. You need power for that one. When you want his presence, be ready to give him time. 
this hurry hurry thing that people do you will not find him that way no Presence. I let worship begin to set the atmosphere I have made I have made an altar you see that an altar I have found the night time to be my best time of not just intercession and warfare alone but deep intimacy because in the daytime your phone is ringing somebody is disturbing you see don't ever give an excuse for why you don't seek him I'm married I have 10 children I, I am I am um, an accountant we finish in the bank late you always have time for what you love hallelujah I'm yet to see what can distract me when I'm having deep fellowship with the Holy Spirit my phone can ring to hell anything can happen you must you you use desire and respect to keep his presence not just faith desire and respect come and you are praying the Holy Spirit your your boyfriend hey, Holy, um, Holy Spirit how are you um, um, my boyfriend how am I Holy Spirit how are you um, this, no 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 you are not serious and it's not just moving ba, 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 ba. and you are running ba, 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 ba. that's warfare not fellowship when you are ready for fellowship you let him define the modus operandi of the prayer session he is Lord over the prayer session there are times I go to pray and as soon as I get there immediately do you know sometimes let me tell you what happens sometimes I can be studying my Bible or even just relaxing I know when his presence shows up now his manifested presence the moment I begin to sense his presence around I try to discern is this just wanting me to pray or something immediately I go and lock my door the Holy Spirit loves privacy he's a very private person forget that you see his power like this the holy spirit there are things he will never do and show you in public no sir thank god for corporate gathering but the specifics of his dealings with you must be in the secret place sleep me no That's why many people's prayer lives are not rich let me tell you when he comes the first thing that happens is his that man to learn it learn it the presence of the holy spirit should affect your spirit soul and body when he comes it's not just by faith you know he's there his influence envelopes you this is how people become strong presence careers not just power careers presence Benny Hinn was describing one time, you know, he's my mentor in that area. And Benny Hinn was describing how he was preparing for meetings. Do you know? He said when he's preparing for meetings, it is directly from the secret place. He would just bath. Ask anybody who knows me. I know many times we are coming directly from a trip. But Koinonia here, especially Miracle Service, it is from prayer and fellowship straight. You see me stand up and come here not just no no matter how many minutes stand up from watching football and just say i my youth let me just wear my tie quickly who are you playing games with you want to come and cast out devils you want to come and change somebody who they use a spell to keep him a non-christian for 30 years who do you think you are that you want to speak in two hours i remember i was teaching one time on um, revelation of heaven and hell he was outside one um, at is it an imam or ustaz one gentleman he studied arabic he was seated outside while the teaching was going on i mean the presence of god was pounding on that gentleman and the next thing all of a sudden outside here the overflow the heavens were open for him and he had a vision of jesus way before an altar call he, i don't know where that guy is now but that kind of born again, there's no going back. Encounters are not products of power. Encounters are products of a person invited into your life and the effect of his presence. 
this encounter thing that you see people talk about me different ministries they write all kinds of the supernatural when they say the supernatural let me tell you what they mean a man of god who comes and somebody falls down falls down a few healings here and they say man it was a powerful meeting let me tell you an encounter is an experience that makes a person and a thing real to you it doesn't have to be visionary but it must be supernatural are we together imagine if all of us here inside and outside imagine all the people here that we become true presence carriers do you know do you know the dimension of the kingdom you will produce in the life of people dimension all these many discussion and counselings you just come and stand near somebody and a presence there is an invisible personality with you I tell you I give you two or three minutes you see that person shaking the person is not shaking just because they are not help her, help her, sorry. the person is not shaking just because there is an anointing the person is shaking simply because you think his power that's what people say that this is not power this is presence you go into a business meeting you carry that cloud you go to your home where there is a shrine that they smuggled somewhere you don't need to know whether they planted it in a football field under whatever just carry that presence like the ark of god in the house of obededom and you watch what begins to happen one of our ladies here was telling me i think she went home and she said she just played one koinonia message and when she played she said it was like human beings were running physically out of the house presence 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 balaam cursed them and he turned and saw no 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 the shout of a king his voice his presence is in their midst let me tell you what i will explain to you next week but the key to working in strange levels of health and freshness physical biological freshness is not just rubbing goat milk cream and all of this let me tell you the presence of God can revitalize revitalize are you a Christian revitalize all this issue of somebody 20 years you are looking like 30 sluggish you are uh, this and that mm -mm. let his presence roast away all that chaff out of you in all sincerity and in all truth i truly consider myself to be stronger and better and happier than ever his presence how you know he's with you is joy unspeakable full of glory it's called the joy of the holy ghost ah in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my heart only comes alive every time I hear yours there's a joy in my soul in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy in my soul only comes alive every time I the world is full of sad people angry and sad people you know why my wife offended me my husband offended me they didn't pay salary this person did this the government is wicked Buari is not a nice man this one did this um osimba joy is not doing well this one is doing this let me tell you joy is not a commodity that you can get on earth joy is one of the blessings of his presence joy joy is not just laughing like a fool the ability to sustain and you ignore the storms that your you can see people in see let me tell you in the olden days when they were going to kill missionaries before they would bomb they would blow them they fed them to lions lions and peronero will sit on his throne in a theater and they will bring out one of the saints do you know how the guy saw they took human beings 
and tied them and then they lit them to be the torchlight that you will use to see human beings roasting to give light and many of them before they died they sang amazing grace they said no 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 when you laugh in the midst of the storm it's not natural the holy ghost is a sign that you are aware they were about to stone stephen all this frowning around thinking you are the first the devil will cheat you you must learn a system of joy i know there's no money in your pocket but don't allow the first sign of depression is that it has a way of taking away joy when men are about to die the first thing is they stop talking ask the doctors they are angry they have entered into a state of acute depression but he said the joy of the lord is my strength strength you see why many people are weak you will never come and meet me like this ah, life joy joy unspeakable you can't fake that one his presence gives me joy all the time all the time it doesn't mean everything just happens the way i want no there are all, there are too many people to annoy you every 24 hours that's what satan wants as you are sharing the grace somebody matches your your leg by mistake and you say about i say what um, what uh, allow me to tell you sorry i was about to say it and it spoils your mind i say this koinonia it's just because we are serving god otherwise your joy is gone is your joy so small rich in joy he said for with joy shall you draw it's one of the reasons why many people don't get miracles haven't believed they don't have joy the joy of the lord that is your strength they don't have it see let me tell you something some of you came to koinonia sad angry depressed as if the whole world is on you when there is nothing else you have keep your joy in spite of all the sadness that surrounds me and this joy that I now have it truly comes alive every time I hear your voice there are times that we go for meetings and the hospitality is not at its best sometimes it can be so annoying because we've traveled so far and you see the people wasting time maybe keeping us so long in the airport to pick us those things can bring anger and all of a sudden i remember the joy of the lord the joy of the lord if you remember your bank account to be happy you will soon die if you remember the presence of your child if you remember that oh i have my certificate under under one newspaper that i wrapped if that is why you are happy this world does not have room for that to give you joy do you know many people try other things trying to get joy they try education they try marriage they try money this money thing you see they try everything they try bullying others they try politics no the true source of joy joy unspeakable is the holy spirit look at what happened to job a man boils lost his entire estate dogs were licking him he was seated in the ashes the wife had looked at him and he said though he slay me yet will i trust him my joy uh -uh. satan has not cheated you if he does not succeed in making you ignore the ministry of the holy spirit i don't care what else leaves you if the holy spirit is in your life Convert that fellowship. 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 Listen. Tonight is a night of restoration. Because some of us, you were not like this. Listen carefully. That's not how you started with God. There are people here scattered across. The day you became a pastor. The day you became a man of God. You became a reverend. The day you married a pastor. The day they gave you a position of a president. That's the day fellowship died. No need for fellowship again i'm busy busy for what busy for what I, I now have a job you know before i i wasn't working but now my job requires that i'm in brazil today portaco tomorrow i barely have time hey the spirit cultivate fellowship with him your life would have been 10 times better than it is if you did not ignore him now you may say he's in me but you ignored his person 
I can have a visitor in my house and leave him in the parlor in anger to prove to him that you are wasting my time and enter another parlor and be doing a business discussion. Is he in my house? Yes. But are we in fellowship? No. Don't say God is in my heart. Don't say the Holy Spirit is in my heart. Are you engaging him? I know you prayed. Oh, I prayed about it. What did he say? Me, I have shall pray. If you pray and did not have an instruction or a direction from the word, you have not prayed. The confusion in the life of many people today. Listen, there are many, there are many things in people's life. There are people today who have traveled to geographic locations where they have no business being there. Somebody just got up and felt like God was sending him to um, Australia. The Holy Spirit was not consulted. You just felt it was just a, a rumbling in my stomach. And you got up and got visa and went and you are almost dying in Australia. There are people who they just sat down and they ignored him and started churches. They had prayer meetings. They had evangelical meetings and just assumed, Kai, I think we are large enough to start a church. And they started it. Think how many things have gone wrong in our lives sincerely because we have ignored him. Think how many people right now are regretting their marriages because they ignored him. My mother said I should just marry anything and I just marry. Ignored him. He told you have three children, you had seven. You are seeing what is causing you now. He said we ignore him all around. Think of how he has cautioned people many times and we refused. Our stubbornness and stiff neckedness. Tonight is a night of genuine restoration. There are many people you used to walk with him, his presence. The Holy Spirit would wake you, wake you at specific times. There are people who have that encounter where he would wake them, but now you threw him out. The Holy Spirit is like, um, in fact, when you study certain Hebrew studies, he's like a woman. That's where you get the word Ruach HaKodesh. You see that? It's a feminine characteristic. If he's not invited, he does not come. If you keep him in the parlor, he remains there forever. You tell him, Holy Spirit, enter my house. But parlor, bedroom, and the first toilet. That's, that's where you should. Don't ever enter my kitchen. You will keep eating nonsense and have a beautiful parlor. Because the area you allow his influence is the area you see the glory of God. Don't say he's in me. Did you invite him to your finances? His presence, not his principles. We try to learn Bible. We go to theology schools. We go to Bible schools and we never consult the author. I told you he's the author of scripture. He walked with people in the Old Testament. Are you not seeing how he turned a little boy called Samuel to a wonder? He called somebody looking like me, Samson, and made him a judge over Israel. Look at the people he transformed. He turned Deborah. Mary said, how shall these things be? He said, don't worry. The father of this child will be the Holy Ghost. The power of the highest, the Holy Spirit, the manifestation of the possibilities of God. Listen, let me tell you. Everything today that is happening that is good I learned something from Bishop Oyedepo he said everything that is good credit it to God everything that is bad credit it to my not hearing him I adopt that principle if there is anything that is good in koinonia the wisdom from the system of the messages if there is anything that is bad in koinonia I take responsibility it is a revelation of the area where I have not yielded to him so is your life so is your life you gave him access to your academics look what his presence is doing you literally sit down in an exam for 20 minutes you don't have an idea all of a sudden something comes in your life and you begin to write even things you know that you did not read you gave him permission there but you rejected him in your finances and you say look you know this economics we have to do it with intelligence and oh how gentle he is he will truly step back truly step back the psalmist said cast me not away from your presence he said take not your holy spirit from me 
it's not enough to have him have you allowed his person to influence your life that's what we're talking about look at many of our parents he's not an influencer of their decisions they have used experience and look at the things that are happening in their lives because they have ignored him you are too young to master life your age is too small to navigate the vicissitudes of life the oldest person on earth is not up to 150 years trust the ancient spirit is the holy ghost spirit of the living god is the holy ghost scepter of the king of kings is the holy ghost seal of the age to come is changing I woke up this morning and I got a very sad text from a man of God. I remember talking to the man. He said he wanted to start ministry somewhere. And I told him, I, I said, I think you need to relax. I look at you and I do not see, based on the description of the kind of ministry, I don't think I've seen intimacy in the Holy Spirit. And he ignored me. He just forgot everything. And he went to go and start the ministry. And he sent me a text this morning. He said, I'm frustrated. I don't know what to do. He said for the first time in his life, early this morning, he was contemplating suicide. I can tell you, not with the Holy Ghost. Impossible. Suicide, where from? The voice that can show you a way where there is no way. The Holy Spirit. When the nation of Israel were trapped, he said, I will send my angel before you. That was the, the angel of the Lord's presence. The spirit, not just an angel like Michael, no. Mary, how shall these things be? See, not that I know not a man. He said, the power of the highest. Please hear me. The secret to you doing what has never been done in your family is not anger, it's him. All of them embraced a spirit. You, you are not embracing anything. You just say, I'm born again. I will be successful. It's pride. You are a joker. Nobody succeeds without the assistance of a spirit. I will teach you partnership next week. The ministry of the Holy Spirit. I tell you his ministry to unbelievers, his ministry to believers, and his present day ministry to the church. But tonight, I want you to know that the Holy Spirit does not just want to be in you. He wants to walk with you and the Lord walking with them and the Lord walking with koinonia and the spirit the author of the Bible opening it to Joshua Selman not that you go on YouTube and download a message and say ah this Greek word you write it coin them together and go and preach no the same way where you meet an author he autographs on the copy he gives you and you know that you met with the author To you I will run, my beloved, you've captured my heart. Listen. Come. Can you surrender your life to the Holy Spirit? I'm not saying be born again that's not what I'm saying donate your life Holy Spirit I donate myself I'm tired of what I can be without you and my lifetime is too short to keep guessing and later find out I've wasted my life so I hand it over to you are we together to you I will run, my beloved. That's Songs of Solomon. Like the prodigal son who the father saw him and he ran, embraced him, hugged him, put back the robe of royalty, the signet ring, and said, my son was lost, but now I'm found. Many of you have left him. You left his influence and you went to do your own thing. 
I'm not just talking of it doesn't have to be bad but if it's not him you will still suffer how many hired servants do my father have they live in plenty and here I am a son of the kingdom feeding on pigs and my benevolent father is there but I must run to him before he comes I will arise and I will go to my father and I will say father I have sinned against you and against heaven I am not worthy to be called your son but take me as one of your servants he said and when the father saw him afar off he ran one thing I know with the Holy Spirit all he needs is for you to take one step and say Holy Spirit I ignored you I have ignored you in my life the moment a guy came into my life he just took away my brain took away my sense took away you would you dance with me love of my soul to the song of all the songs Sing it one more time. Would you dance with me, your lover of my soul? To the song of all. Listen, let me tell you how I prepare for miracle service. I lie down with my paper and my Bible. I don't just get up and say the sick are coming. Spirit of the living God, I am limited. Thousands of people are coming. Probably thousands and millions of others connecting around the world. I am too small to heal them. I am too small. And I mean his presence just mantling me. And I'm saying, Lord, right about now there are people. The venue is packed full. The troubles that people have is too much. I can't be the one to solve it. And then he tells me, don't worry. Partnership. Let me show you one scripture before we round up. Give me this scripture, please, quickly. First Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. First Corinthians. 3, verse 9. I hope I'm right. It just came to my spirit. Please quickly, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 9. I never walk alone. I know he's with me. For we are what? Laborers together with God. We are laborers, partners. Shalakota salabatea. Partners. 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 There is a role I have to play. There is a role he has to play. I'm a partner with him. I never walk alone. I would have died if I'm the one leading Koinonia alone. No, I'm too small. I don't have that wisdom and experience. My life is too small to be the way it is by my own strength. Yongicho wrote a book, Holy Spirit, my senior, not my mate. Holy Spirit, my senior partner. In his church, he has a big chair like you find in the Anglican. That chair is for the Holy Ghost. He said, I cannot be sitting down in front and the Holy Spirit is nowhere. You may not put a physical chair, but open up your heart and say, this is for you forever. Forever. And then he will show you things. I told you he is the wisdom of God. He comes into your life and produces signs and wonders. I look at my life today and I'm humbled. I don't even know what to tell him. Holy Spirit, what you are seeing, if there is anything good that you see in my life, behind the scene, there is somebody living through me. If I stretch my hands, it's his hands. What you are hearing now, you are looking at a physical person. But if God were to open your eyes, I'm like a puppet. He's speaking through me. That's why the power that comes from him only flows through me to you. The devils know what they are seeing. The sicknesses know what they are seeing. The lady who had an issue here, when I was hearing those testimonies, you know they were all thanking me. Thank daddy. What I was doing in my heart is thank the real daddy. The father in me. The Lord of Koinonia. The true apostle of this ministry. Not Joshua Selman. I will be stupid to claim that I have the power to lead people. You made a way. You made a way. 
Don't know how, but you did it. Don't know how, but you did it. That's my testimony. For he's moved the mountain. You cause walls to fall. And with your power, you perform miracles. There is nothing hey, that's impossible. Tonight I'm standing here, and it's only because you made a way. Made a way. Don't know how. be going through things tonight that humanly speaking you don't know how it will be done that is not your business that trying to find out how it will be done is the secret to killing yourself leave that to your partner your senior partner he's the wisdom of God he's the author of scriptures he knows where he needs your answer is listen stop weeping stop crying stop looking like life is all over your head no say to the righteous there is a reason why you say to them he gave them the holy spirit he said tarry in jerusalem don't let pride make you go out and start preaching tarry until he comes Hallelujah. look what he has done with this ministry today you see let me tell you something every time i hear the reports about what god is doing we travel around all the place all the time tomorrow we're in lagos and i see the mighty things that he does and i see people coming sometimes to enter the car people are all around trying to touch any part of my body crying man of god and i keep looking hi do i really truly in all honesty do I really have the power to solve their problems? No. Pride is what has killed many of us. We drove his presence through pride. Yes, I'm the one. Ah, that prophetic word came from me. That prayer came from me. That uh, fasting came from me. That this, my church, I built it with my wisdom. I studied X, Y, Z. That business, I, I, I know these things. Let me tell you, ask all those who know me. I look like a bold person, but my personal life, I can be so shy. Especially when you start thanking me. Or I, I don't know where to put my face. You know this type, uh, we want to appreciate a very great man of God. Ah, you have killed me. I don't even know where I'm going to hide my face. Because I know you are lying. You think you are telling the truth, but it's a lie. I know him. Prayer point number one. Lord, any part of my life that is yet to subscribe to your influence, tonight I lay it down. I lay it down. Oh, 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 oh. lay it down. surrender everything don't say I'm not a pastor this is not a pastor affair don't say I'm too old I'm too young oh, I, I surrender all to you everything I give to you withholding nothing withholding nothing I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing pray koinonia I surrender 
everything to you everything I give to you Lord I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing Lord I'm withholding nothing withholding nothing not my life not my ego withholding nothing withholding nothing Lord I surrender home to you and everything I give to you I'm withholding nothing Withholding nothing Take my heart And mold it Take my mind It's my prayer alone Transform it Pray Koinonia Take my will Conform it to be yours. Let it be like yours. Oh Lord, pray, surrender everything. Take my heart, share it and hold it. Take my mind, transform it. I give you my will. For me to yours, to yours. Yes, Lord. Everything I hand it over to you. Do a handover ceremony tonight. I hand it over. I stop this pride of mine. And I hand over my life and everything. Not just to your power. Lord of my relationship. Lord of my life. Lord of my finances. The chief influencer of my destiny. Hallelujah. Prayer point number two. Lord manifest yourself in my life and to me man let there be a revelation of you a revelation an encounter with the holy ghost lift your voice and cry for some of you what you need to say is lord restore it I want to know you I want to hear your voice I want to call you Lord I want to touch you I want to hear your voice I want to know you Lord I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. I want to touch you. I want to see your face. I want to know you more. Lord, whatever I have lost because your presence was no longer in my life, let it come back. Like the hair of Samson, you know what you used to carry. You know what was in your life. Don't act like it's still there. Cry for mercy. Let it come, oh God. There was a grace upon my voice that every time I sang, I revealed to people 
reality of his presence is no more there. There was wisdom untold upon my life. It's no more there. Spirit of God, bring it back. How many battles are you fighting in your life by yourself and it's killing you killing you because you were not designed to fight alone david would have died if he dared try to fight goliath alone hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point tonight before i make the altar call i want you to cry a cry of revival you know what revival is many people it's not a language that the church even knows again they don't know what revival is i tell you they think they know revival when fire comes back to your life when fire comes back to your home when god returns back like they were dancing when the ark was returning back to israel revival i like you to lift your voice and cry set my life on fire set my life aflame again pray my prayer life aflame revival my word life revival find the flame so God find the flame so God Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Revive us again. Hallelujah, thank the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah. Find the glory, revive me again. Hallelujah, find the glory. Hallelujah, amen. Hallelujah, find the glory. Please revive us again. Please revive us again. Please restore us again. Please renew us again. Please refire us again. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart otherwise we'll keep playing games and at the end many christians will backslide pastor jakes they will leave god how many believers do you know who are not standing again because the reality of life we said this thing many years people insulted us and said we're noise makers those people today some of them are not born again they're not even in christ again they've gotten into all kinds of things survival is a cause you should resolve that issue and spend your life serving God. If you are a brother here, when I say pray, please pray. Pray. The sisters can join, but brothers, you must pray. You shouldn't stand and just be, leave any man of God thing and cry. Listen, there are some of you as you are listening to me right now. There are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them. You have your own mother. You have your own father. And... I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery 
brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many And we're standing here only because you And we're standing here only because you made a way. Made a way. When our backs were against the wall and it looked the sea, it was over you. hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of God please koinonia pray pray hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not It's a pattern you must break. Don't watch it happen and say it's all right. Nothing solves itself by itself. You must engage it with faith. Lord, this poverty thing, I've seen it in my family. We are not lazy people, but I'm seeing it come. This lack of being serious with God, lift your voice and break every cycle. Lift your voice and command, exempt yourself. Accept yourself. Are you praying? Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years no matter what happens maximum three years 
what nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage are we together there are some of you listen the mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you whether in business whether anytime there is wickedness you are the only one it happens to it's not a coincidence when they want to scam someone you are the first they find when an accident is about to happen is when you are crossing the road the car will hit your leg i like you to pray and say no more i insist i've been keeping quiet about this but tonight i place a demand lift your voice no more no more no more it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder the yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing hallelujah hallelujah two more prayer points before i begin to minister to us listen hallelujah jesus said satan come to me and does not find anything of himself if satan finds what belongs to him in you he's authorized to destroy you we are going to pray and we're going to say lord whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny i apply the blood i invoke the mystery of the blood lift your voice and pray legal access i apply the blood are you praying i apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of abel i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood i apply the blood on my children i apply the blood pray on my husband on my wife on my business on my ministry on my job i apply the blood no divination no witchcraft no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail hallelujah please keep standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something i'm looking for saying there was in a city a judge which feared not god neither regarded man verse 3 and there was a widow in that city and she came to him saying avenge me of my adversary stop there god is a god of vengeance listen listen i know that's the nasty side of god but the god i serve is not only merciful god is, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a god of vengeance he said let god arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry lord avenge i cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family koinonia pray arise righteousness and justice at the foundations of his throne oh god of vengeance arise 
Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent and he said they should go and hang him he already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off. Say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together? Tonight, I want us to engage the word. To engage the word with your spirit. If you insist, brothers and sisters, God will give you a breakthrough. If you insist, God will give you a breakthrough. Are we together now? I want you to pray one last prayer. And then I'll begin to minister by the spirit. Lord, visit the root cause of my challenges. I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. He says every tree. The axe is placed at the root. Every tree my father has not planted. Lord, go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life.
the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause are you praying Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. If after tonight's meeting, you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many, why many people never seek God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around, doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again. At a point in your Christian experience, results must come as consolations to your serving God. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. Visit us tonight. Let me make an altar call. Let's start with the altar call first. So that we'll finish right now. Please, everyone standing, no moving around. Outside your attention. There are people right here. Everything we boast of is in Christ. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee. Please listen very carefully. If you are not in Christ, there is no guarantee whatsoever. Are we together now? so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in christ the bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness the very domain of darkness are we together now so when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith there is a spiritual transfer it is only on that basis you can challenge darkness there are two cate categories of people very quickly i'm going to make the altar call quickly when you come pastor jakes will lead you in prayer and then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust god to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of jesus you are here and you are saying man of god is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you i'm speaking to and i'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside i know there are lots of people you are saying man of god can god forgive me yes he can can god give me a new beginning absolutely no one has made it in my family you will be the first if and only you receive him he says as many as believed in him even to them that i mean as many as received him even to them that believed in him he gave them power to become power to become you do not have the power but you have the will and you can choose right now i'm going to make an altar call whether you are giving your heart to jesus for the first time or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat Give Jesus praise. Please clear the way for them. There are people running outside. Let Jesus Christ step into your destiny. Koinonia, can you motivate them? Appreciate them as they come. Don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself. Shame the devil over your life tonight. God bless you. Keep coming. Man of God, you don't know what I've done. Just make that step of faith and come quickly run to Jesus run to Jesus keep coming keep coming there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus
Hallelujah. Kiss every one of us in front. Can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as their hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's Book of Life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just the moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please, let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister I have a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly, we have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty. Especially today, God is visiting visitors. If you are here for the first time, God is visiting Visit us in a very strange way. Lift your hands. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Just keep your hands lifted. Please bring them. Just keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. God is touching people. 
a foolish instruction, but it's what the Lord is telling me. Just keep your hands lifted. Like fire. It's coming on people inside and outside. Bring them out. God is visiting visitors. 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 Doesn't mean other people are not being touched. But particularly visitors. Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. They must depart from the hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit. I command every devil. Strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakatabakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. That spirit, I cost that spirit. I cost that spirit. Bring the mommy out. There's a mighty deliverance happening to her. Delay over your family. Broken, 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 broken by the spirit. Hello, Madonna. Hello, 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 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands. And I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now one two three release them now 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 Johnson Johnson I'm hearing a name Johnson 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 we are still praying please Johnson my God I tell you I see this fire falling on sisters I don't know what it is with ladies God is God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cast that witchcraft now i cast that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are i'm prophesying that the power of god will touch them touch them i set them free from activities of witchcraft occultism any kind of initiation if there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage i set them free now i set them free now hallelujah hallelujah my friend lift your hands that gentleman going tap him there is hardship in your family 
and the Lord is asking me to curse it. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I curse hardship. Let the anointing of the Spirit come on you now. I curse that spirit. The spirit of hardship. I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, if you are here and you have any blood disease, just blood disease, any kind, any kind, blood related issue, lay your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you right now. Blood related issue, genotype, whatever it is, um, or any kind of thing, maybe any sickness that is blood related. Please, I want to pray for you right now. The Lord is giving me that instruction very quickly. I want to pray for you. I'm seeing a lady who is AS. God is about to change her genotype now. 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 A dramatic change of genotype from AS to SS. From AS to AA. By the Spirit. By the Spirit. By the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. If you come from a family where no one in your family is working, lift your hands. Nobody, no job. Nobody, just, please just do what I'm asking you to do. Let's save time. Just lift your hands. Nobody at all is working. No matter what happens, just lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Jesus. 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 I'm, I'm looking at hands lifted and, and for some of the hands I'm seeing like a rope. This is not necessarily you. This is a representation of your family and I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now, right now. I release them. I release them. I release their jobs. I release their jobs by the power of the Holy Ghost. 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 The the Holy Ghost. We end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people one seven one seven one seven at the count of four this is the instruction god gives me unusual access to illumination lord where are they inside and outside one two Strange illumination. Four. Take it now. Take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom. On common access. 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 I release it in the spirit. Access. 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 Hallelujah. Please make sure you receive every word that is coming. Every word. Come. God is going to use you. Come. Come and stand here. Lift your hands. Stand up. In the name of Jesus. I don't know you. Huh? But an anointing will come upon your life today. And God is going to change your life like day and night. Receive that grace right now. Strange grace. Step into that dimension that dimension there are impartations going on now let's just receive the impartations impartations not healings not healings impartations impartations i release the gifts of the spirit right now right now i release the gifts of the spirit lord stir up the fountain stir up the waters 
stir up the waters I release the gifts of the spirit strange gifts strange gifts strange manifestations of power of power healing anointings healing anointings I activate healing anointings right now healing anointings step into it step into it outside inside step into it God is releasing mantles mantles of healing ancient mantles of healing ancient mantles grace for barrenness grace for barrenness grace for barrenness healing barren cases hallelujah hold on I'm still praying I'm still praying God wants to release the healing anointing let's just stay here with this healing thing God wants to release there are many more people I'm not seeing them receive it yet father you want to release this grace there is such a grace as the healing anointing I pray for you right now in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado may the power of God come on you now everyone everyone everywhere men women take it take it take it fire upon your spirit Hello, I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the Lord says I should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on everyone usher I'm prophesying now that's why I say I don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please, everyone, lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why. Please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a money monger, you just go, but strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you're a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now I release it 
supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that I'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace God is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is I release that grace now there is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now on common ability on common ability on common insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruit hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting god to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting God? I want to release that grace now. And I want you to believe it. Some of you had destiny help us. But something happened and they left your life. Some of you had quality relationships. But it left your life. Some of you had finances. But it left your life. Some of you even had certain levels of graces. The Lord is asking me to prophesy restoration. Kai, this is going to land on people's head. I'm saying this thing. There are physical gifts you used to see in your life. Not gifts of the spirit. Not just gifts of the spirit. Gifts. Gifts. Endowments. For some reason it disappeared. Some of you are actually worshippers, singers. But that grace left. is coming back. It's coming back. I invoke the grace that he has put upon my life I prophesy strength restoration I call it by name and I command it back to your life I call it by name everything you once were that you now are not I command you to become it now I command you to become it now I release that grace I release that grace receive it i release that grace i release that grace hallelujah now listen listen there are some of us hear me you have been doing certain things but the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life this is a very serious prayer i want to pray for you you have been doing business with the brain of a money monger but not the grace for the marketplace you have been singing only with the voice of a musician but not the spirit of david i want to release the anointing of your office the anointing that has to do with your function please i want you to believe what i'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing I know you are working you want promotion is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two 
two, three. Receive that grace now. Take it. Take it. Grace. Grace for your academics. Grace for the ministry. Grace. The words you speak turns things around. Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please. I'm seeing something happening here right now. There are people who are receiving grace for speed. And they will start running physically. Hold them. Hold them so they don't injure people. I release the grace. You won't control yourself. Physically. Running. Speed. Physically. I release that grace now. Receive grace for speed. Receive grace for speed. Right now, right now, I command you to run, run in the spirit, catch up, catch up, catch up by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus, I release speed, I release speed, I release speed, speed to your life, speed to your destiny, speed to your life, speed to your destiny. Your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please I permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we're going to be praying here tonight and we're going to be asking the fire of God to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you're here you are trusting God for healing I understand there are a few sick people that they brought around please we're going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there 
for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there's the promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir first station here you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand i can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in Jesus? I believe. You believe in the power of I Jesus? Believe. Lord, I introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Huh? The Lord will begin to touch you. Your hands, everything is already dead. Sir, lift your leg. Lift your leg. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Lift your leg. Just lift it. Lift your leg. Lift your leg. Start, try to walk gently. Come. Come. Try to walk gently. Give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come. 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 Don't be afraid. Come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of God touches him sir you came here by yourself um trust him okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere in the name of Jesus Christ the God you believe has begun this miracle you will perfect it look for a stick for him there hold your stick by yourself and go don't put it on the ground hold it up walk by yourself and go give Jesus praise look at God Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 
Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out from me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers go down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. you came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth. Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected. It's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother. Supernatural miracle. It's coming to that person. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hi. You are holding her, but something is leaving her to you now. You who is holding her, something is leaving her to you. There is there is virtue. I see a transference of grace from a Jimmy's wife to you. You are doing your work as an usher, but you have received something very strange and very powerful. You see, let me tell you something. If, if you do not, you see, hold on. Walking in the anointing is more than having it. Having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing. If not, you will be anointed, but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing. It's like a man shooting anyhow. You must have discernment. Many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and Mata, two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing a strange, strange. Hallelujah. God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, god is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor hallelujah i don't know what i'm saying but this is a word for someone and the lord is saying why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? 
when I have destined you to be this year. This is the word of the Lord. Why make it next year? This is a word for many people. When I've destined it to be this year. As I speak to you, the word is for you. The power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destined it to be this year, my God. Hallelujah. There is a lady here. You have been disappointed with God right now. You actually came help the ushers. You came expecting that I would directly call your case and you, you, you pray this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and I didn't call your case the power of God is coming on you now now as a sign that God had now wherever you are he's locating you now now I command that spirit to leave you. I see you in the spirit. Go now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I stretch my hands now and I command. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let her go now. Peace to your spirit. Every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you. Right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Pastor Jake is still playing outside. Okay, we can just do it. This is a listen. There are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss. Ah, there is, I mean, God is just doing certain things. It's like something is really happening. Don't worry about what is happening. Impartations. God, see, let me tell you right now, if the anointing comes on you. Just know that is the answer to your prayer. This is not a special once the anointing comes on you. Just know that your prayer has been answered. You understand? This is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down, it's not answered. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying this is how God is choosing to confirm to some people now, as I'm talking, that your prayer, no matter how difficult it is, no matter how difficult your prayer is. Praise the Lord. Now, everyone, please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jake's come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakato pakata. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, leave her. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get her. Rakata kata bakata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracle so God. Testimony so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, signs and wonders. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The Spirit of God is moving over the prayer request, visiting families, releasing angels, releasing angels, visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence, visiting the prayer request. Savior, 
He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent forth to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please say to me, still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is. I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of Jesus and Pastor Jakes, God is giving you influence, strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence it's a very strange apostolic dimension of influence Lord I pray in the name of Jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are I bring them into this experience now, now now wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest e and lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy 
and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto pretekes kobaria da balaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. We're rounding up. Who is this girl? Come. You. God has chosen to visit you. Come. Come and stand here. God is wiping your tears. This prayer I'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny. I lay my hands upon you and I command the gates to be opened now. I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you, but the Lord is asking me to pray for you. Lift your hands. This is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings. I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ, I command. Uh -uh. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. I'm praying for you, but I'm seeing my hand on you. Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. An age-long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory I unveil your glory Shaka ta 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory tonight is a strange night Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah, just allow me to do one more thing. Ah, the Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. 
touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway, Benway, strange grace, strange grace. I break witchcraft, Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to go, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? Or to bar or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, breakthrough, breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Strange breakthrough. Benway. 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 I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles. Breakthroughs. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. Miracles. To Emo state. By the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you're from Cross River, Cross River, Calabar, something is happening right now. Cross River, Cross River, Cross River. Cross River. Help her. Help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the ministry of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says, I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We're rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things and so you think when these things are happening you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations i want to pray for you please receive everything i pray for you every age-long challenge every challenge that has refused to leave i prophesy upon it right now I command that it comes to an end in your life now. 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 That fair lady, come. This lady, Diana. Run, come. Lift your hands, I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus, listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life, I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside the cave and I'm surprised because we've prayed for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside the cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me. I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi. Otoko. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. 
God is going to throw somebody out of your life. I'm not a prophet of doom, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw completely so that you can move forward. I hold your hands in the name of Jesus. Every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person but your relationship with Jesus. You, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not death, oh, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen. I lay my hands on you, and I provoke the heavens to release that favor for you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare over every family represented here, whether your nuclear family, your extended family, hold on. I don't know what has gone wrong, but in the name of Jesus, within now and miracle service match, dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. Dramatic turnaround for families. In the name of Jesus. One of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers. I want to pray for you. I don't know where they are, but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand. In the name of Jesus Christ, may it come to pass. I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. In one month, 30 days, I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost. 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray May God put them on the scene as he lifts you. May they watch your rising as God honors you. I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down. Prayer life down. Your praise and worship life down. Fasting down. Word life down. In the name of Jesus Christ, I activate fresh grace. Receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water but when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation looking for people and families is listen it's like a graph 
it rises then sometimes it relaxes i'm praying whoever calls your name i'm prophesying this oh whether in the secret or the open to invoke death upon your life i command the earth to open and swallow them i command the earth to open and swallow them whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you may misery follow them the esther anointing the unction and the grace that granted esther uncommon access in the presence of ahasuerus Shababa Satalakata. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we're done. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection listen i want to pray something that is very powerful in your life listen when you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you it's a cause are you hearing what i'm saying now the bible says defend you in the day of trouble there are many of us if for any reason things go wrong in your life you are in trouble there is nobody that can arise as a defense but i'm prophesying to you right now in the name of jesus christ whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors i call them forth right now in the name of jesus may god raise men to be a wall of defense for you in this wicked um wicked state that we are living right now in this country people say if you don't have anybody and honestly speaking somebody can get up and come and seize your land you and your land and your paper they will collect it because there is no defense i'm prophesying again quarter to shame May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? honor is when god anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation so for every one person who talks nonsense there are thousands honor jabez said oh that the mother bore him in sorrow you brought shame for me so i call you jabez honor is more than money brothers and sisters the bible says a good name is better than riches i pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands. Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and who Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. 
I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.